hide the ahogi hair. Select the NURBS group and extract curves from the U-isoparms. Rebuild the curves you created. Group the curves together. Select the head geometry and create non-overlapping UV coordinates, for example, by using automatic mapping. Delete the history and freeze the transformations for both the head geometry and the curves. Select the head and the curve group, then use the Make Curves Dynamic tool with the specified options. Move the time slider to the first frame and enable Play Every Frame in the Preferences. Now, the simulation should calculate correctly. To make the dynamic curve stiffer, increase the Start Curves Attract parameter. To connect the dynamic curves to the nerve surfaces, create a wire deformer. Use the wire tool from the deformers menu. The tool will activate, and messages displayed in the viewport will guide you through the process. Step 1. When your mouse cursor changes to a cross, select the nerve surface from the outliner and press Enter. Step 2. Select all the dynamic curves and press Enter again. Now, the nerve surfaces are connected to the dynamic curves. Unhide the Ahogi hair group and make a play blast to check the dynamics. If everything looks good, you can start rendering the sequence or use batch render.